I've said this many times before, uh, my favorite part is community. My favorite part <laughs> are the people, actually. The people. I mean, like the sense of community, the sense of family. Um, it's, you know, everybody here cares about each other. Somebody needs something, they can call the other people in this collective and they'll come. Poverty and the Arts, POVA, is a Nashville-based social enterprise nonprofit and we work with people impacted by homelessness here in Nashville. One of our biggest goals at Poverty and the Arts, if we do nothing else, is to just make homelessness a little more complicated. If I've learned anything, it's that everyone in our program became homeless for different reasons and it took different solutions to get them out of homelessness. And so if all we do is if our customers or supporters or people that stop by our gallery just see homelessness a little more complicated and a little more nuanced, then we've done our job. Creating art is, is the nearest thing that I know, um, the closest thing I know to being uh, God. Not saying that I would want to be God, but um, that what human beings do create. And um, being able to create and create art, um, God, in the beginning, God created. And when God created, he made me a creator. And for me to be able to create art is my blessing and my call. Well, art is not something you need to live. It's not like food, shelter, healthcare, education. But it is important for society for human beings. It is the, it's a, it's a purest expression of the divine. Every person has something in them that is creative or that has um, something beyond the very basic needs that are required for life. It is beyond that. So it's, it's extremely valuable. And um, I love the director. <laughs> Very much, because if it wasn't for her, none of us would even be here. So, you know, I mean, I could go to a food bank and, you know, and, and, and meet my needs in that way, but the emotional and spiritual aspect of being creative, that's, that's the ultimate experience. That's the reason I'm here. What would you tell someone who's still it's not your fault. I think people need to get over their preconceived notions of what, you know, homeless people are. Some of us had a series of circumstances that we had no control over that put us in that situation. And we're willing to fight to get ourselves back. We're not looking for handouts, we're looking for a hand up. We want to reestablish ourselves and get ourselves back on our feet. Don't give up and don't let nobody take your joy. I know it's not easy. Like I tell anybody, I may be down, but I'm not out. Yes. Um, just please don't uh, pass us off, don't uh, not think about us, uh, ask yourselves what you can do, what you can contribute to the program because you don't, can't fully understand the benefit and, and, and um, what you can do to help, you know, just donations, art supplies, uh, anything, your time. Um, Whatever you know comes from you, you can give. Just be involved, be involved, and you can see um, the healing in other people, and that is tremendous. That is very tremendous.
Well, it's been, it was a hard experience, you know, and then now being this, it's just like totally the other side of the moon, you know. It's a whole better life, a whole better life. And only, really, basically, the only reason I'm here is because of this program.